Hey everyone, Jonathan here from Buffalo Modular Homes and I am out in Lockport, New York and behind me is the beautiful Bayview Plan. Now this is a chalet home with a first floor that sits about 1300 square feet. The loft space if you choose to finish that out is another 550. Um, and then this plan specifically sits actually on a walkout basement. So you have the opportunity to finish that space out as well. So when you think about, you know, all said and done, you're north of 3000 square feet for this home, uh, which is a wonderful thing. Um, let's take a look through uh, the home and point out some of the features here for you. So as we approach the home, I wanted to point out uh, the decks that they had um, done. So they did this uh, maintenance-free uh, decking, vinyl railings. They went with the clay railings, which I think between the color of the deck plus the siding color, I think it turned out really, really nice. And then this entrance, as well as the entrance on the other side of the home, um, both have the same, uh, the same setup, where it's the maintenance-free steps, vinyl railing, uh, to a landing here uh, as well. So there's actually, you know, four different uh, entrances above, well, five, because this is a walkout actually, five entrances to this house uh, from the exterior. So we walk in through the utility room and you have the washer dryer hookup, shelves above for your soap and things like that, and the utility sink um, that they have here. So this is a great spot to be able to come in, kind of kick your, you know, kick your shoes off and uh, hang up your coat and, um, you know, kind of get the wetness off before we walk in through the rest of the house. So we walk in and we have the hall bath right in front of us here. They went with all um, a lot of standard pieces here with the uh, with the standard tub surround, um, as well as uh, the countertops in here, um, the sink, those sorts of things are all standard things. They did the black fixtures, um, black plumbing fixtures, and black hardware as well, uh, and a black uh, vanity. So. Yeah, if you're going to do black plumbing fixtures, probably makes sense to do black hardware as well, or you know, vice versa. <clears throat> so uh, off to the left here is the second bedroom. Pretty decent sized bedroom, nice big window sills, uh, again, on all the houses, which uh, I love pointing that out. Closet off to the side here, and uh, they have a, uh, a ceiling fan in all of the bedroom spaces uh, throughout the house. So we walk in through, uh, if you were to turn right from that entrance that we walked in through, you have the master bedroom. So again, ceiling fan, two large windows here, gives you some options for how you want to lay things out in your, uh, in your room. I mean, you could easily put the bed, you know, here, you could put the bed over here. Um, you definitely have the, uh, you know, the option for that when you split the windows like that. So they have a large vanity in here double sinks, again, black plumbing fixtures, black hardware. Um, and then they have uh, the garden tub, which is a curved front tub. You can see curved on the front. So this is basically a good setup um, for a master suite where you're not really looking for the big tile shower or anything like that. Um, you're just looking for something a little bit more um, you know, laid back, but uh, you would like to be able to take a bath as an adult. Um, the curved front tub is uh, the right setup for that sort of a situation. The uh, standard tub is just maybe a little bit too cramped for an adult um, to get in there. So we have a uh, linen closet here. There's a linen closet actually right on the other side in the hallway as well, um, which is nice. So you got two linen closets in this house. Um, and then uh, didn't show you this big master closet. Let me show you this. Nice big walk-in closet, light in the in the ceiling here. Be thinking about that when you're thinking about your closets. Do I want lights in my closets or not? If you're going to do a walk-in, you definitely always are going to have a light in there. But um, you know, it might be a situation where you want to do a, a light even if you uh, even if you don't have a walk-in. You got these nice shelves in here for shoes and sweaters and stuff like that. And then. Um, one of the other noteworthy things to point out is the difference in the flooring that they chose here. So um, they did a uh, sheet vinyl in the bathrooms and then in this um, mudroom hallway space, they did sheet vinyl in there. And then they did carpet in the bedrooms and that um, carpet upstairs as well. And then over in the common space, they actually have um, vinyl plank floor. 
So vinyl plank was the only upgraded flooring that they have in here. So uh, vinyl plank is an upgrade. And I think probably this break is, is a good break. If you're trying to limit the amount of uh, space that you do it just from a costing standpoint, this is probably a pretty good transition spot to do that. Um, when you're dealing with open concepts, it's really hard to find the right spots for these sorts of transitions. And I think that's a good one. So I wanna spin around and point out the kitchen. So this is a, um, they did a standard cabinet in here, um, standard hardware, they did uh, cabinets up to the ceiling. Um, they had this uh, refrigerator and they got a range and uh, micro hood and dishwasher and that sort of thing that'll be going in later. Uh, they did an upgraded countertop in here as well. This is a, a quartz countertop that they did. Um, <clears throat> they got the nice uh, pull down coil faucet. Nice big deep um, sink. This sink came from uh, International Stone along with the countertops. And then across from the kitchen uh, is a great spot for a pantry. Got shelves all through here. Nice big pantry space for you. Off to the right here is the basement. We'll go back through that later, but uh, coming back to the common space here, so this is dining room, living room space here, okay? You have a big open concept. Uh, the big draw for chalets is the vaulted ceilings, the big windows up high like this, sliding glass doors in here. They did double windows on the dining side as well as on the living room side of the, of the uh, open concept here. So <clears throat> definitely have a lot of options of how you can lay this thing out. Um, so you could easily do, you know, set up in the corner here. You could do something along this wall. There's a lot of different things that you can do with uh, when you have an open concept. <clears throat> but they did windows all throughout here, which I really love because they're sitting on about 15 acres of land here. So um, they're not <laughs> they're not dealing with too many uh, too many neighbors or anything like that. Um, it's a beautiful property that they have here out in Lockport. But uh, we'll walk up here um, to the loft. I wanted to point this out from this view because I think this is important. Um, for a chalet home um, and a cape home both, the upstairs would be starting off as an unfinished space. Now you can choose to finish it off. This homeowner had us finish their loft space off, but you could easily you know, wall this off at the top of the stairs and uh, leave it as an attic space for you to do later on. Um, <clears throat> But as, uh, as they decided, which a lot of people do that are looking to do a chalet, they had us finish this upstairs space um, to install the railing and all of that. We're going to walk up here now. But I just wanted to point this out to you because there's a couple different ways that you can kind of seal this off and save yourself a little bit of money on the front end um, of the project uh, just to get into the home. You could also wall this off right here. So you create a little landing here at the top of the stairs, and then you leave that as an attic space off to the left. So just a few different ways that you can go about this. And uh, taking a look through this is really helpful because the Bayview plan shows a proposed uh, option of how to finish your second floor off, uh, that loft space off. They follow that almost to a T here. So let's take a look. You have this large storage closet here nothing to hang or anything like that, but a nice real big storage space in here, which is great. Go back through off to our left here is a bathroom, full bathroom upstairs. And uh, we got these pieces uh, from the factory to match, uh, shipped loose so that everything matched uh, what they were doing with the rest of the house. The tub shower surround, the plumbing fixtures, the vanity, the countertop, the sink. Uh, all those things to match the rest of the look that they were going with with the rest of the house. Even the sheet vinyl um, is to match the rest of it. And then here is a uh, additional bedroom space for them. So their plan is to use this as a guest space. Uh, I think that's a great option for you. A lot of people will look to um, think about finishing it off as a master suite. You could do that as well, obviously. There's a lot of things that you can do. You know, we've seen people that'll finish a loft space off and just leave it as a big open space um, that they can do whatever they want to with. Maybe use it as an office or whatever. Um, but it's a lot of extra space. It's about another 550 square feet up here. So between the first floor and the second floor, you're sitting on about 1850 square feet. And then this house uh, sits on a full basement with a walkout so if you were to 
do a walkout basement on here with sliding glass door and windows and all that stuff. Give yourself uh, bedrooms or, uh, you know, potentially do some bedrooms or a living room space downstairs. This house now just became over 3,000 square feet. So this is, there's a lot of house here. <clears throat> downstairs, they went with, uh, for the basement, they went with superior walls um, for this, um, which uh, is a great setup if you're looking to finish your basement out. So I'll just take a look at this here real quick. <clears throat> it's already studded. It's already insulated. Okay, you got cavities so you can over insulate it if you want to. Um, you got spots here where you can run your plumbing and electrical lines and stuff. You really just have to hang, you know, uh, install whatever outlets and plumbing and stuff like that that you want and then hang your sheet vinyl or your sheet, sheet rock and you're all set. So this particular homeowner um, did uh, elected to just do a door, a man door on the back because they're really just planning on using this as storage. I mean, we'll see when the time comes. They might uh, they might change their minds down the road and uh, plan to finish some of the space out here because this is just a beautiful piece of property that they're sitting on. But as you can see, there's a lot of space down in a basement to think about finishing. And so when you have these windows and stuff like that in here, it's, uh, it's easy to see how this can be a really attractive way of uh, giving yourself some additional space. This basement is eight foot walls in that, but if you went up to nine foot and you could put a ceiling on this, you're not even losing any headroom. So you, you, know, you, you could put a ceiling on this and sit at an eight foot ceiling in your basement with a fully finished space down here too, if you wanted to, right? So you could put bedroom, uh, bathroom, living room space, whatever down here. The options are, are, are pretty broad. So when you're thinking about things from a budget standpoint and thinking how do we maximize our space, it's always a good idea to be thinking about the land that you're going on and how you can utilize uh, your basement for that space. Well, that wraps up our tour of the Bayview Chalet home. Um, as you're considering your project, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you about it, but I hope this video has been helpful to you as you're thinking about what your build is going to look like, where you're going to build, what's this, what's the land situation? Um, how do you want to finish the space out? Um, thinking about roof line with additional space upstairs for a chalet or a Cape home, things like that. There's a lot of options available to you. So please reach out to us, have a conversation, and we'd love to help you get into a beautiful new home.